Hello guys, what is up? This is Galactic Elmy, bringing you guys to the WBE. I don't know if this is really Season 3 or just a Let's Go League, a nice little interlude from Season 2, but welcome to the Let's Go WBE League. This is your coach, Galactic Elmy, coach of the Chicago Cub Chews, bringing it back for the third season of the WBE. If you guys want to see the uh, draft that I picked out, I actually have a video uh, showcasing all the Pokemon that I drafted and why I drafted them. And uh, yeah, pretty much, um, this is the Pokemon that we're bringing this week. We're bringing uh, Mega Beedrill, Aerodactyl, Butterfree, Slowbro, uh, Kangaskhan, and Vileplume. I'm going against my main, Colum Scrafty, aka Callum. And if you guys want to drop him some love, uh, his links will be in the description down below as always. And uh, yeah, I am uh, moderately nervous, not too nervous, but... Uh, Kyle has a really interesting team. Um, I don't know how really I'm going to get around it, but his team is as follows. Mega Blastoise, Duck Trio, Exeggutor, Clefable, Jolteon, Moltres, Haunter, Persian, Machoke, and Arbok. So, those are his uh, 10 Pokemon, I believe they are. Uh, 10, of course. And, um, yeah, as far as things go, I feel like he's probably going to end up bringing Mega Blastoise, Duck Trio, Exeggutor, Clefable, Jolteon, and Moltres. Um, he could more than likely end up, uh, you know, mixing up a little bit, bringing like Hunter. Hunter is a good mon. It, you know, outspeeds a lot of my mons. And overall, I have two Psychic Depths on my team that it can, um, you know, put in some work with and overall can be scary against. Um, also, kind of doesn't let me switch out a lot of things too. So, you know, it, he could do whatever. I, I don't really know what to expect. But overall, I have like pretty much the fastest mon in Mega Beedrill. Not really the fastest, but one of the fastest and one of the most threatening. Uh, nothing on his team actually outspeeds. Mega Beedrill is just really cool, and um, EVs are not in this game, items aren't in this game, abilities are not in this game, so a lot of different things are uh, added in, there are no moves such as, uh, you know, there, there's no like wish, there's no heal bell, there's no aromatherapy, no, no refresh, so if something's paralyzed, if something's toxic, then they're going to be toxic for the rest of the match, and um, it's pretty insane that like something like Clefable, which is typically such a good Pokemon, is not as good in this game, in this whole entire meta, if you want, so... Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, but we're going to see what Cal wants to do. I'm going to put in the code right now, see whenever he's good to go. He's recording his intro, so um, he should be good very, very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is like Cal is about to put in the code, and uh, we should be good to go to battle. This is actually my first ever uh, battle in Let's Go Beach with Eevee. I've never done it before, so I'm a little bit foreign to how this is all going to work. Um, pretty much a 6v6, 20 minutes. Uh, we have to pick our moves like right away, snap, snap. Rest is banned, um, as well as a few other moves are banned. Oka moves are not banned. Sleep class is a thing, as always. And, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that Oka moves are not banned in this, but I kind of understand why. This is more of a four-fun league. And uh, we'll see how things pretty much roll and go. Um, once Calm is good to go, we'll put in the code. And, uh, well, we already have the code in. And uh, we should be all set and ready. All right, guys. We had paired up with Calum over here. <laughs> I had a bit of a timeout. I don't know why that does that. But, uh, yeah, it should be... Um, Normal rules, I would imagine. Uh, let me just confirm with uh, Callum. Normal rules. -y. Just to make sure, because I don't want to mess with anything. Again, this is my first time doing a Let's Go Battle. Uh, I'm pretty sure normal rules means that uh, no EVs are used. Obviously, we're not using EVs because they're busted as hell. <laughs> but i um, pretty sure normal rules is how we're going to do it. Um, I just want to confirm with Cal, make sure everything's good. Um, I'm pretty sure we do normal rules. Like No restrictions means like you can do whatever the fuck you want. So, um, yeah. Is it okay to have a battle with normals? Yeah, it, sh it should be. So, as you can tell, this is our party. Um, you guys should pick the first six Pokemon from your box. That's actually really cool. That's actually really awesome. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with our party. Uh, this is so interesting. I've never done this before. Okay, so uh, you can check the opposing Pokemon. So, he did bring the Mega Blastoise. He bring, he bring the Duck Trio. Oh, he brought the Persian instead of the uh, instead of the Clefable. It makes sense. Clefable really isn't as good, and Clefable gets kind of destroyed by uh, Mega B, so it makes sense. Um, Persian's also a taunter, uh, gets some good coverage. Um, overall, I think that Aerodactyl's probably your best lead, but I feel like Mega B is just a really safe lead too. Uh, the only reason why I would want to lead with Mega... Uh, the only reason why I want to lead off with Mega B drill instead maybe is because um, it outspeeds everything. Hmm. This is a little bit tough. So 40 seconds. Um I think I may end up just leading off my Aerodactyl. But like I just I really hope he doesn't lead off with Jolteon at that point. But part of me thinks that he'd lead off with Persian. Even though it doesn't have speed, you know, my my mom that puts up rocks. Um This is always my issue. I always overthink things too much. Um 
realistically, I think that I'm probably just going to go for the Aerodactyl. If I need to switch out, I can switch out, and uh, I can call it a day. Hopefully, I can put these Pokemon quickly now. This is really slow. Oh, God. I think we're going to get it in just in time, though. We should be all good to go. Go have fun to my boy, Callum, and uh, we should have a good battle. So, um... Damn, this is actually so weird. Like, doing a battle, like, on a Switch is less... It, it's such, like, different experience. Uh, if you guys are watching, make sure you guys drop a like, and uh, make sure you guys let me know in the comments section below uh, what you think of the Switch leaks. Do you guys like these or not? And that seems to be the Jolteon, so I kind of assumed that that would be the case. But, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, that, that's a bit rough. Um, this is going to be a speed tie, actually. I, I'm, like pretty darn sure we can't live in a uh, Thunderbolt. Like, no way we can. Uh, I think we kind of switch out over here, unfortunately. And I think the best switch we would have to be to go out into our um, Violet Plume. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, bad, bad start. Bad start. But uh, he's, actually, he's just going to go for the Thunderbolt. He kind of has to, which is not bad. And we are a pretty bulky Violet Plume, so that's what we're just going to go ahead and do. He's actually going go for the Thunder. So he actually lands the Thunder. This man's going, like... He, this man doesn't care. He's going all in. Don't paralyze, please. Thank you. So, Thunder has a 30% chance to paralyze, because so we got kind of lucky over there. Um, yeah, I think that no matter what, he's probably going to end up going out into his uh, Moltres over here. So, I'm actually just going to go for the Sleep Powder. Sleep Claws is a thing, but I think we'll just Sleep Powder it up. He's definitely going to go with those Moltres, no, no matter what. No matter what. So he's going to go with the Spitfire. I spit hot fire! And it's the beautiful shiny Moltres. Okay, I see you, Callum. And we do end up blending the Sleep Powder, so um, pretty nice for us. We get the uh, initiative with that. Now we can basically switch into whoever we want, which is really, really nice. And I think that uh, we just got to go out into our Aerodactyl, uh, as we originally planned. That just may be our best case. Uh, he may try to burn a Sleep Turn over here, or he may try to uh, switch out over here and try to get initiative on us, knowing that we're going to go into Aerodactyl or Slowbro. And... Um, it kind of sucks if he does read that and go and goes into Jolteon again. He is going to do that. Yeah, he's definitely going to just do that. Smart. Yeah. Um, well, at least we have the Moltres uh, asleep. So that's really nice. We don't have to worry about that for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot put anything else asleep now, which is a bit of a you know bummer. But, uh, yeah. I think at this point, we got to kind of go with the risk. Or can we, do we just... I think we just go back into our... Valplume. If he's in here for Thunder, he can miss Thunder. Uh, and it's not doing a ton of damage to us. I can always restore some HP with Mega Drain as well. And I'm not too worried about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Over here, he has to make the decision as to whether he's going to go out into his... Uh, he's going to land another Thunder. Okay. I see you, Cal. I see you. And this may paralyze us over here. But that's doing not too much damage. It's not going to paralyze us, thankfully. He may just switch... He may just stay in over here. Um, or just go into his Moltres. He kind of has no reason not to go into Moltres. I think I'm just going to go for the, um, the Sludge Bomb, though. In case, like, uh, he goes into something else. Um, it's just over my best middle ground play. He may, he may predict me to switch into Aerodactyl and switch into something else. Um, I'm kind I, I kind of have him in a good position over here. So he's actually just going to stay and go for the Shadow Ball. This should be a 2 KO from this range. And it will be a 2 KO from this range, unfortunately. So let's run sure you a good chunk though, and um, does have a chance to poison. Unfortunately, it is not poison, but um, that's okay. Yeah, overall, I think uh, unfortunately I don't I don't want to put uh, put our Vapum down, but uh, I feel like we kind of have to. It does give me the initiative to go into my Mega Beedrill though and get our Mega off, which is nice. So um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just. Kind of just sat this thing off, if anything else, and see, it just kind of get a free switch into our Mega Beedrill. That's what we're going to go ahead and do. Oh, we actually end up living, which is really, really nice. And um, we're going to get a nice big chunk off. Don't get the poison, but that's fine. Um, that's that's completely okay with me. We're just going to end up uh, letting our Valplum go down. Or I can go ahead and switch on to something else. Um, but I don't think that's really worth it. I think that, that we're, just, we're just better off just... Letting this thing die. Hopefully, I'm not taking too long in these turns. Um, he's actually just going for Thunderbolt. Save Thunderbolt. Uh, kills us off. That's fine. He gets the first strike. That's okay. Um, we have a, a we have a Moltres that's asleep, so that's really really nice. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go into my uh, Mega Major over here and kind of just Mega off and see what he wants to do. Um, we're running Roost on this thing in case we get the uh, off chance of getting a turn to Roost. That's the nice thing about Mega Major. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve, and... Oh, no. I don't have the option to Mega Evolve. Oof. I don't know how that works. I should have tested that. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna ask Callum. I'm gonna ask Callum if we can, uh... If we can do something about that, because I actually... It, it's on me, I should have tested that. Uh, I'm gonna ask him. Alright, guys, uh... Callum's amazing, and, um, you know, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I completely forgot to buy the Beedrillite, because I'm just a big his face. And, um, I have the, <laughs> I have the Beedrillite now, so we should be good. I'm so sorry about that, and the weight, and all that kind of stuff. All, all this trouble. Uh, but we should be good now, and, uh, let's just get this battle underway. So now that I have the Mega Stone, we can actually Mega Evolve this time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Poison Job like I was in the first place. Just, you know, best neutral damage or anything that, you know, we can get. Uh, 2KO should be, uh, this should be 2KO on, uh, Moltres, which is really nice. He's asleep anyways, so, uh, it's not really gonna matter too much. We try replicating this in the best way possible, and I think we kind of have the best solution, uh, as far as things go, because Sludge Bomb poisons, so we decided to go for Mega, you know, Mega Drain and just switch back in and out and whatnot, so, yeah. Either way, Poison Jab should be a 2KO over here, hopefully, maybe, possibly. It does not seem like it is, unfortunately. Um, so that is a little bit scary. I believe that he, um... He can't wake up after only just one turn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, um... Well, the the, the smart thing to do over here would be to just, uh, U-turn out and just go out into my, uh, Aerodactyl. So that's what we're gonna just go ahead and do. No use of risking anything. We're just gonna do that. Uh, this way I can also get initiative. We can go for Stealth Rock if we really want to as well. Uh, we get a nice little crit. I don't think it really matters too much. But, uh, yeah, I think that we, uh, replicate this the best way possible. Again, shout out to Calum. You know, he helped, he helped out a ton with just, you know, being a good sport and letting me get the Mega Stone, which definitely will make a big difference in this matchup. Um, so he's gonna be fast asleep. That's cool. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Stealth Rock over here. This way, if he switches out, he has no way of, uh, getting rid of the rocks this time around. So we're just gonna go for the Stealth Rock over here. He may end up going back to his, uh, Jolteon if he does. Well, he's just gonna die anyways. Um, so we're gonna see what he wants to do. He may anticipate that we have the Stealth Rock and just end up staying in. Or he may end up... Oh yeah, yeah, that's what he's gonna end up doing. So we're gonna get the free rocks up, which is super duper nice. If he wakes up over here, he can get some damage up, and I'm not too worried about that. He is still fast asleep though, so we are lucky that he doesn't get the, uh, two-turn wake up. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, go for the, uh, Rock Slide. And just, uh, take this thing out, so... That's what we're gonna go ahead and do. He wants to get that free switch into something. He's smart about doing that. And we end up taking uh, our first kill of the uh, season with Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl kills Moltres, which is super nice. We have to make these choices really quickly, though, guys. 12 minutes remaining on the battle. This is just where it's 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 unfortunate that Let's Go has such a short timer. It should have at least been 30 minutes. Like, 30 minutes just sounds like a better number than 20. I can understand why they have such a bad timer, though. Like, it makes sense, but it still kind of sucks. But over here, he's going to go into his Blast Toys and... Um, at this point, I think that my best choice would just to be to go out into my, um, would be to just go out into my, um, my Kangaskhan. It does have, uh, Toxic, and, uh, I do have Protect on it as well in case I want to, uh, rack up some Toxic damage. Of course, Toxic Stalling is not something I really want to do, and, and in no way, shape, or form am I planning on doing that, but it is there to, you know, just kind of rack up some damage and overall do some work. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what he wants to do. He might likely just Scald, though. He's actually gonna go for the Dark Pulse. Uh, no Mega Launcher in this game, but it should still do a lot of damage, which it does. Mega Blastoise is actually really, really good in this meta, despite not having its Mega Launcher ability. Uh, because it just overall has amazing stats to begin with. We do have Toxic, though, which is super nice. Uh, we can go ahead and will down whatever he wants to bring in at this point, which is, uh, gonna help us out a ton. And Toxic will end up landing, which is really, really nice. We're gonna put this thing on a bit of a timer. And overall, we do have the Rocks up, too, which is super nice as well. Uh, I could have stayed in and gone for Toxic on my Aerodactyl, but that's not something I really want to do. He's actually just going for the Skull over here. We do have Facade, so this burns us. This actually isn't the worst thing ever. But he does, she does not burn us, which um, isn't really the worst thing ever. <laughs> I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, at this point, he's probably just going to go for the... He's probably just going to end up going for the... Um, Scald. I'm just going to go for the Protect. Um, just end up racking some more damage on him. I should have, in, in retrospect, or in hindsight, went for the Protect, but... Just with the tire being so, like, down there, I just didn't really, really, I just really didn't want to mess with that. It just wouldn't really be fun. So he's actually just going to switch out over here. 
um, which makes the Pretend not the best. He actually goes into a Stormy, which is going to be his Purgeon, uh, which will be able to outspeed us, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, now he knows that we have to Protect. Uh, at this point, we uh, can go ahead and go out into my Aerodactyl, or I can just stay in and let this thing die. Uh, we are not going to be able to outspeed this thing, unfortunately, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Facade in case he goes for the Taunt. He's actually just going for the Fake Out, so... Uh, I could have easily went into Aerodactyl over there, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, I should have probably anticipated that, but that's okay. I'm just going to go for the Facade over here, sack this thing off, uh, in case he has, like, uh, Thunderbolt or something like that, which doesn't seem to have. I could have easily went into Aerodactyl. That's, that's a misplay on my end with uh, doing that, but that's okay. At this given point, that gives me a free switch into my um, Mega Beedrill. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Mega Beedrill and go for the Slash. Or not the Slash, the U-Turn. He just used Slash. Um, and see what he wants to do with that. So, yeah, let's just go for the U-Turn over here and see what he wants to do. He is more than likely going to want to go out into his Mega Blastoise or sack off his... Um, oh, actually, no, he's just going to stay in and uh, take this like a, like a boss. This gives me an opportunity to just go into my... Aerodactyl though, and um, this is actually really nice for us because um, we end up just kind of having the upper hand. We're faster than uh, his, his Persian as well, which is really nice too. Uh, slash really won't do much at all. Um, it's actually going to be a crit, which is not really a big deal. Uh, I'm just going to end up going for the uh, safe Earthquake over here. Uh, I think he's just going to side this thing off, so I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. This should be able to kill him no matter what. I'm not going to deal with any sort of rock slash shenanigans. I know that thing can miss. And Arnado's going to take the second victim today. Taking down the beautiful Persian. Really hoping this battle doesn't come on a timer. I'm trying to make my decisions as quickly as possible. If he goes in at Jolteon, um, I really don't have the best switch in ever against him. Uh, Jolteon kind of does put in some work right now. He's going to go back, go back into his... Uh, Mega Blastoise, though, which uh, is A-OK -okay with me. I'm going to actually try to stack as much damage as possible. And uh, Rock Slide can flinch, which is super nice as well. So I'm just going to go for the Rock Slide over here and um, potentially get a flinch. If not, I can go out into my Mega Beedrill afterwards and put in some work. I also do have Quiver Dance on my um, Butterfree, which is super nice too. So I can, get a, I can get a Quiver Dance off as well, which is super nice. We are going to go for the Rock Slide. It will land... And again, this can potentially flinch him. But we do not get the flinch. Skull will end up killing us. That's okay. Um, really put in some fine work, though. And I'm not upset at all that we had to take it down. Not too upset at all. I'm pretty sure um, Blaster should be m maybe in Poison Jab range. Uh, I think this is my best opportunity to go out into my Butterfree, though. And just kind of put in some work. So I'm going to go out and do that. And uh, get a nice little... Quiver Dance up. I do also have Mega Drain to get some HP back in case I uh, want to use that on Dark Trio or uh, Mega Blastoise. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Quiver Dance. Um, the only problem with doing this is that we're not going to be able to outspeed him right now. He's actually going to go for the Hydro Pump. He does land it. This may just may kill us. We're going to live it though and we're going to go for the Quiver. Um, I just figured this is the best uh, point to bring this thing in, but a little bit risky obviously as well. I don't have to worry about Purge having Quick Attack, or Fake Out for that matter, so I'm not too worried about doing this. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go for the Mega Drain at this point, and kill this thing off. He's going to go for the Aqua Jet, he actually has the priority, and that's going to end up killing us off. I didn't, I did not, I did not think he would have the Aqua Jet, that's actually really good prep on his end, so... Um, that puts us in a really, really bad position actually, uh, now that I think about it, so... A bit unfortunate there. Uh, if I combine slow, bro, this would be the best. Part. This would be the best uh, opportunity to bring it in, but unfortunately, we do not. Um, very, very unfortunate for us. Um, what I will, well, I, what I will do over here is I'm actually gonna go into my slow, bro. And um, actually, no, what am I doing? This thing has dark pulse. I am playing like a moron right now. I was thinking about going into slow, bro, and going for the teleport, but I'm an idiot because this thing has dark pulse. I should have just went out into my. Mega Beedrill. I am playing really, really poorly right now. I'm playing really, really poorly right now. This is this is bad. I think I literally just threw away the match. This timer is just so bad. It makes me make 
really poor decisions, and I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to blame the timer on me making bad decisions, but... That's... Yeah, I, I, I'm just... I'm playing too much on stress right now. I'm playing too much on not wanting the timer to run out, and... That may end up just... Uh, that may just end up winning him the game. If he goes in a sicko mode, which is the <laughs> Exeggutor. And now I have nobody to U-turn into. I think I literally just lost. I think I literally just lost. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. This thing lots of Beam and kill me with... Uh... Oh, he's actually going to go for the Sleep Powder. If he didn't land that, then that could have been really bad for him. I'm wondering why he went for the Sleep Powder. I think he anticipated me to go out into my Beedrill. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stay in, though. I'm just going to side this thing off. I don't think... Uh... Does this thing have any sort of priority Exeggutor? I kind of can't do anything about it, because he versus like Psychic or something like that. That that would suck. I think he was anticipating... Yeah, he's just going to go for the Psychic. So he's anticipating me to go out into my Mega Beedrill right now. That did a lot of damage. Oh, we actually got the first turn wake up and get the Ice Beam off. I don't think this will kill, but... uh, It's not going to really matter that I got the first turn Thaw. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to let him kill me. Yeah. I'm just going to let him kill me. Um, so at this point, I, I think it all comes down to, uh, it all comes down to Duck Trio, and if it can, uh, live or not. I think it does live, a U-turn, but it all comes down to that. I outspeed the rest of his team, I kill the rest of his Pokemon, it's all, it's all down to Duck Trio at this point. Uh, he has no more priority, which is really, really nice. I completely forgot about potential, uh, shenanigans with... Aqua Jet. Uh, Jolteon can very well have Quick Attack. I'm not playing that down at all. Um, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. u is my strongest move. We have nothing to U-turn into. We're going to take down the uh, Exeggutor over here. So Mega Beedrill kills Exeggutor. It's kind of funny that I can still win even though I've been playing really, really poorly. I found that to be pretty funny. Um, I, I no way will be proud of this win if we do end up winning. But uh, th there is potential that we can win. He has Rock Slide no matter what. Uh, I think U-Turn's a rollover here, if I would be assuming things. Um, because <sighs> Dark Trio's defense is really bad, but we have no EVs in this game. So I think I'm just going to go for the U-Turn over here. Get as much damage off as possible. If Rock Slide kills me, then GG. If Rock Slide doesn't kill me, then I think we win. We're not going to take him. I'm going to go for the Rock Slide, and he does land it. And we do live on 10 HP... Which is absolutely huge. I'm going to go ahead and go for another U-turn. And um, that may just clinch me the game. Unless... Oh, he has Sucker Punch! Ah, oh, I should have freaking realized that. and gone for the Roost. Ah! Oh. GG to Callum, dude. I play like a freaking moron. I am so rusty. I have not played Pokemon in a minute with competitive uh, prowess. I, I actually don't really know the movesets to Pokemon too well either. I need to just brush up on my knowledge, dude. Uh, GG to Callum, though. I... I need to just, I need to get accustomed to this whole entire uh, craziness with um, Let's Go Battles, because I just was not used to this at all, this whole entire pressure, uh, not having the Mega Stone, uh, you know, that kind of put me on a bit of an edge. Callum does have to get somewhere, I did keep him longer than I wanted to, so I wanted to get this match done as quickly as possible as well. I'm not going to use that as an excuse for what I lost, because I just, I played really poorly. I played really poorly, that's why I lost, I played super poorly, and it's just a bit unfortunate that that's the case. Um... But what can he do? GG's to Callum. He had the right sense. He had Aqua Jet. He had Sucker Punch. He had some cool stuff. If I had gone for the um, Bruce over there, uh, we could have actually ended up winning. Um, I just didn't know. I just I, I think that Sucker Punch just completely fled my mind. And uh, I just didn't play well at all. I just I played super poorly. I brought Butterfree in a little bit too early, I think, as well. I think that may have just been the best opportunity for me to go into Butterfree, though. And I could have just... I could have, slept my, I could have kept my Slowbro healthy. Instead, I just kind of let it go, and it's just a bit unfortunate that that was the case. But you live and you learn. Um, I apologize if that was bad to watch. I know, like, watching people do, like, stupid, like, really stupid mistakes like that can be really, really tough to watch and endure. So I do apologize if that was a bit of a disappointment. But uh, we almost made the comeback. Uh, we could have easily won that match, I feel like, if I just played my cards correctly. I feel, I feel like I, I started the game well. I didn't end well at all. I played super poorly, but no reason to get due down. It's a far fun league. 
I'm playing with mods I've never played with before, so uh, it should be a good time. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in week two of the WBE. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and want to see more. And I'll catch you guys later on. Peace out.